and welcome to the Bot Box. Has it really been a year since the second World Series episode? It feels like longer. 2018 dragged just a little bit. Anyway, we'd better make a start on 2019. Buckle up, we're going to be here for some time. Last week, I told you about a wedge flipper called Rhubarb. Spoiled again, this week's subject was also a wedge flipper, but that's where the similarities end. The Spawn Again's teams, Team Scutterbots, had entered Scutter's Revenge and Spawn of Scutter in Series 3 and 4 respectively, and both made the semi-finals. Neither of them were flippers though, and neither got past the first round of the semis. The spawn again was a black was black and had neon yellow spider web designs on. And a message on the flipper saying, Abandon all hope, oh ye who sit on this. The extreme one, it was brown. Their motto? Surrender or fly. Extreme one was where Spawn again made its debut, entering the tag team. Hero with axe stroke lifter box coming Getterix. Spawn of Scutter had beaten Commodic Getterix's uh, predecessor, Bursting Getterix. They teamed up because they'd been friends since that fight. They were going to fight Plunderbird 5 and Bigger Brother, but Pun Plunderbird 5 bust some roller shutters and themselves. So Major Tom fought, fought with Bigger Brother instead. Come and get Rick's was first to take on Bigger Brother and axed it, and suddenly weren't too keen on moving. Uh, and Bigger Brother was venting steam for some reason. But they still pushed Come and get Rick's into a wall. That was where Come and get Rick's woke up with its back against said wall. So they pushed Bigger Brother into Major Tom. Major Tom as a result joined the battle as it had been effectively tagged. Spawn again did too, even though they hadn't been tagged. The rulebook always gets thrown out of the arena in tag team terror. Just get used to it. Spawn again flipped Mage Tom over, so Bigger Brother went to rescue its teammate and come and get to its axe to Mage Tom. Mage Tom ended up on its wheels again, but it wasn't moving much. Bigger Brother and come and get Rick's ended up stuck together and headed over to the arena where Spawn again was. Spawn again's flipper being stuck open. Uh, this didn't stop Spawn again from shoving Bigger Brother around. Bigger Brother, of course, shoved back. Major Tom, by this point, had definitely died and got counted out, and got subjected to flying air floor flipper and pitting. Seas got called and Come and Getterix and Spawn again got through. One of the Come and Getterix team members then sowed the seeds of a grudge match. I'll explain later, this isn't the relevant episode for it. Next up was Dietoir and Pussycat. Pussycat was a robot Team Scutterbots had fought in a Series 3 fight with Scutter's Revenge, so there was some history there. Pussycat wasn't supposed to be in the fight though. Mega Moore was, but as explained in their episode, it had withdrawn from Tag Team Terror. Pussycat was its replacement. So, suddenly things weren't looking so good. You see, a pussycat is a better robot than Megamorg. Spawn again went out to fight P Pussycat first, only for its flips to be useless because Pussycat landed on its wheels every single time. That didn't mean Pussycat couldn't uh, attack. Nay, Spawn again flipped Pussycat into Matilda's CPZ and then tagged Com Comgetterix. When Pussycat got free, 
It opened the pit and trashed the pit, released her. Handle. Pussycat then tagged the Itwa. Spawn again then returned to fight, and so did Pussycat, who ninja a hit on the back of Spawn again. There goes the rules again. It turned into a four bot pile up until the Itwa shoved the seemingly motionless Come and Get Rix around. Spawn again tried to rescue Come and Get Rix, but then Pussycat showed up, so Spawn again went after the Itwa. Come and Get Rix then got free, only to get shoved some more. And then Spawn again died. And let's see, got counted out. Shouldn't axed it, Spawn again flew f air floor flipper and ended up in the pit, leaving Come and Get, and get Rix alone to fight Pussycat and Deatra. Deatra was on fire now, too! <laughs> the countdown with the end of the fight. Just about came to come and get Rix's rescue. It nearly ended up in the pit. It wouldn't fit in because Spawn again was there and got turned over by Deatra as time ran out. The judges, however, were not caught in. Pussycat and Deatra were flew to the final because Spawn again, yeah, died. Thus endeth Spawn again's participation in Extreme 1. Spawn again, like Plunderbird, also fought in the US, appearing in the War of Independence against full body spinner Joker. Joker's teams earned themselves a few death glares from the, the team Scutterbots. Though, why Joker was spinning before Activate was called, I know not. Joker hit. Uh, had one hit on Spawn again, and Spawn again died. So it got counted out, shoved on the floor, flipper by shunt, flew, and Sergeant Bash sent it to the pit, Refbot finishing the job. So yeah, they went out early. Like Plunderbird. Now it's time for Series 5. Spawn again had their black and neon yellow paint job now, and faced Hydra. An axe lifter box, like Come and Get Rix were. It was even blue, like Come and Get Rix. Spawn again were also seeded 13th. As soon as the fight started, Hydra over flipped by Spawn again. Hydra self righted but drove on to Spawn again's flipper. So they were inverted again. again. And again. And again. Until they stopped moving. Spawn again shoved Hydra into a wall, Matilda attacked and Hydra got flipped one last time for try for Spawn again try to flip Hydra out of the arena. Oh hang on, I'm getting a foreshadowing feeling. Yeah. Hydra does not go out of the arena without taking stuff with it. They failed, so Matilda and Sukil had a go at Hydra. Then Hydra got counted out, and Matilda took out the CO2. Sukil got spun it around, and finally, finally, it got pitted. So Spawn again got through to the second round to face Evolution, an MDF tank with a brick in the, in the uh, weapon. Or the turrety part at least. Not quite like this one. This one's made of foam. Evolution had been through repairs as the house robots had attacked and received yellow cards as a result of those attacks. So, yeah. Evolution hit spawn again once. On its second attempt, Spawn again flipped Evolution over. Then Spawn again took Evolution close to the wall and flipped it out of the arena. Poor Alastair from Evolution's team kept looking to see where his robot had gone in the post-fight interview. Team Scutterbots, on the other hand, got a real not worthy bow. 
Next up for them were the surprise heat finalists, Dietrich. Team Nemesis had helped Team Scuttlebots fix up Born again and they had a gentleman's agreement. Whoever gets the robot upside down first shoves the inverted robot into the pit to save them from the house robots. Spawn again also had Dietrich fur on it now. Of course. The first flip turned Dietrich over. Dietrich tried self right, but both of its eyes came off. Spawn again tried to put Dietrich out of its misery, but then along came Sergeant Bash and Dietrich and did it on fire. Sergeant Bash wasn't even deterred by RefBot's fire extinguisher. Matilda had a go too. By the time Cease was called, Spawn again had also died. They said afterwards they wanted to avoid Razor and Hypnodisc in the Series 7 finals. So, in the first round of the Series semi finals, they got first time semi finalists and number four seeds. Razor. Oh dear. Oh, and they also had to fight after Wild Thing versus Chaos 2. Those who know that fight will know this means no pressure. <laughs> so the first thing Razor did was put a hole in Spawn again and Slipper whilst putting, pushing it into a wall. Spawn again couldn't move, so Razor put more holes in Spawn again. Spawn again, by the way, did not need to be on a diet. It was actually later the evolution in series 5. Just saying. Still, after one attack, Spawn again can move. A shame it reversed into the path of Shun's axe. So Spawn again got axed and Razor added a few more holes too. Oh, and Sergeant Bash showed up. That flipper took quite a pasting. After all that, Spawn again somehow got free. It made Razor chase it all around the arena. And that flipper had gone though. So they opened the pit, possibly in the hopes of sending Razor in. A Razor had other ideas and sent Spawn again into the pit, and into the first ever Razor's belly. One team member, one team Scutterbots, after the fight, asked for his mother. So, let me explain Razor's belly. So, there were 12 heat, heats in series 5 and series 6, split in each series, by, that's what I mean. So, that would, that yields 12 semi-finalists in each series. Six semi-finalists would be in one set, Emmy, six in the other, and because they're supposed to produce team two grand finalists, you lose two in the uh, first gosh, round of the semis and lose further. Hang on, no. Lose two in the first round and then a further two in the second round. And to, to yield that, you need two battles with two robots in in the second round of the semis. Now, with six robots and three one on one fights, you get three semi finalists. But that's not four. So the losers' melees were devised to give the three robots that lost the first set of uh, one on ones a second chance. Spawn again was given this second chance by the loser's melee, or by being in the loser's melee. So, here goes. Spawn again had to fight Vertical Spinner S3 and Wedgie Lifty Spinny Bot Wild Thing 
for this second chance. They got the holes repaired too. Swan against first target was S3. Alas, trying to attack the front of S3 did not prove to be the wisest idea. S3 attacked and all Spawn again could do was defiantly open its flipper. Wild Thing then opened the pit only to be rewarded with an S3 barrage. Spawn again, having been basically killed by S3, got counted out, leaving Wild Thing and S3 alone in the arena. Sergeant Bash shoved Spawn again into the pit, which was probably the safest place for it. Wild Thing and S3 went to the judges. Wild Thing joined Spawn again in going out. So, this means we must now go on to series 6. Once again, Spawn again receded. 10th. And they found a home in Heat H. In the first fight, they sp fought Spinner's Supernova and Short Circuit and Crusher Tiberius 3. Again, fought same, some of the same robots as Rhubarb. God. They were worried about Sp Supernova, and Spawn again had also gained some weight. Spawn again was the last robot to enter the fray. It was moving very slowly, the other robots being in a three robot pile up. And the lack of movement indicated Spawn again was a very poorly robot. The fray between Tiberius 3, Supernova and Short Circuit had casualties though. Short Circuit's disc ended up being put their chain going <laughs> And Tiberius 3 had bent crushing beak. Not good. Finally, after Supernova attacked, Spawn again joined the fight and flipped the nearest robot over, namely Tiberius 3. It also flipped itself over, but Spawn again had roll bars over now, so that was no problem, and they self-righted. Uh, though, Spawn again then got stuck. Sakil also lost his breastplate. Oh, and Short Circuit had died, so it got counted out. And Tiberius 3 had lost their link, so they were unable to self-right, and that got counted out too. Spawn again were lucky. So next for Spawn again was another spinner, Spam. And they'd been working on Spawn again because everything was wrong with it. Spam were also down the spinner. They were supposed to have two. Spam spent a lot of time running away until Spawn again caught up. It didn't flip Spam though. By the time the pit had opened, when Spam had and a lot of poking of spawn again, Jonathan the commentator had started to float the possibility of there being an upset. There wasn't. Spawn against Flip and fired, but missed Spam completely. Spam then drove straight into the pit. Okay. Let's see how long Spawn again can ride their look for. Next up was Supernova again, and they had interference issues, so Spawn again, that is, not Supernova. However, Spawn again were moving better in this fight, they even got the first attack on Supernova in. Supernova were now stuck by an arena angle grinder with traction issues, so Spawn again flipped Supernova again. Supernova was stuck on their side and desperately trying to get free. All they did was tear the arena floor up. So they got freed by the ref bot. So Spawn again flipped Supernova again, causing another gash to appear in the arena. Vandals. That flip also killed Supernova, its wheels now no longer touching the floor. So they got counted out, flew air or flipper, and got pitted by Growler. By all the stars. Spawn again. How are you still in? They still had to 
and it would pair spawn again ahead of the semis as he had a major problem. They didn't get Razor this time. That's the good news. The bad news was they got the axe wielding wonder that is Terahertz. This went down badly. The team member informed of the news went quiet. This is going to suck written all over his face. By the way, if you watch a semi on YouTube, look out for the picture of Beta. There's a challenge for you. So, Terahertz acts to spawn again a lot. It also acts the floor a lot. Spawn again gained a lot of dents and holes and could find no hiding place anywhere in the arena. Terahertz would not leave it be, apart from that one moment when it had a little dance. Not until Spawn again ended up in the dead metal CPZ did it get free from Terahertz at least. Dead metal attacked, Spawn again died, Terahertz acted Spawn again again. The pit got opened and Spawn again got counted out. Mr. Psycho picked them up and dropped them on the pit, dead metal finishing the job. So it's a uh, boozer's melee time against second seeds, Big Gorilla, and fourth seeds, Hypnodisc. <sighs> Thanks for this uh, tornado. Not. Okay, we have to do this. We have to do this. Spawn again were worried about Hypnodisc, as you should be. Hypnodisc hit Spawn again first. Spawn again kept going after Hypnodisc, but Bigger Brother had the same idea and kept getting in the way. Neither would let up, so they basically brute forced Hypnodisc to death and it got counted out. Bizarre. You beat a seed. Yay! Then Bigger Brother shoved Spawn again into a wall where the two got locked in unholy ro ma robot matrimony by the pitch release tire. Both got freed and Spawn again flipped Bigger Brother into the pitch release tire. Then his flipper got stuck open so Bigger Brother shoved them in the pit. I want to say that Hypnodisc invoked taking you with me, but the trope in play here involves breaking one's arm while punching out Cthulhu. That sounded very British, but then again I am British so I can do that. Anyway, Spawn again were out and next for them were the, was the Extreme 2 All-Stars, the best of the best. And they found Home and Heat B, where they had to fight Dominator 2, another X-Bot, and, oh, no, Hypnodisc. For the second fight in a row. Okay, okay, I know this fight, let's do this. So, Spawn again and Dominator 2 ganged up on Hypnodisc, the spinner hitting Dominator 2. Spawn again sent Hypnodisc flying, only to get axed by Dominator 2. Dominator 2 got another hit from Hypnodisc, so Dominator's two, Dominator 2's mission suddenly became whack Hypnodisc all over the shop. There were some nice titanium sparks. Spawn the game got the odd flip in, but stayed well clear of Dominator 2 in berserk mode. That was all it needed to do, because two robots got through to in the fight, and Dominator 2's Berserk mode had KO'd Hypnodisc. Spawn again still flipped Hypnodisc anyway. Meanwhile, I need to write a note to myself. Not written. Right, I'm back. Hypno 
Hypnidus got counted out. Spawn again got axed before Hypnidus got pitted. This meant Spawn again dominated to got through and Spawn again got to fight Reza. Again. So Spawn again ran away from Reza. Reza caught it, but not for long. Spawn again hit Sergeant Bash before Reza caught it. Reza tried a rear attack. But decided the front of spawn again was easier to attack, so attack that. Razor pushed them around onto the hazards too, mainly ones involving fire and angle grinders. Spawn again escaped and opened the pits, only to drive onto it as it went down. They tried to escape with their flipper, but that sent them in fully. But no what was in spawn again this time, so that's an improvement. Still out. Time for series 7 now. Spawn again was seated 6 this time round and found themselves home in heat N. In the first fight, they got horizontal spinner chip, axe bot meter machine, and spinner flipper. <sighs> Revenge of trouble and strength. I swear. I did not name that robot. Chip's greatest fear was getting flipped out of the arena by Spawn Again. Spawn Again's aim was to score lots of out of the arena flips, so they were right to be worried. Spawn Again chased after both Nita Machine and Chip before choosing Chip as its target and flipping it out of the arena. Meanwhile, Revenge of Trouble and Strife had removed Nita Machine's axe and killed it, basically. Then Nita Machine had stopped moving, so Spawn again tossing Revenge of Trouble and Strife around had no effect on the fight. So Nita Machine got counted out. Mr. Psycho hit it with its hammer, had, it had a rubbish flight off the floor flipper, got hammered again and then pitted. So next was Rocks, which was a crusher in Series 7. Spawn Again's plan involved tossing Rocks out of the arena, of course. The fight started as a minor pushing war, only for Rocks to get flipped twice. The second fight, the fight got uh, Rocks back on its wheels. So Spawn Again flipped Rocks several times, patiently waiting for Rocks' remake to work. It nearly went out of the arena once. Then Rox attacked Spawn again. Unlike Razor, Rox was actually tall enough to attack from behind. So that's what they did. They reversed it into the pit release, still holding Spawn again, and let Spawn again go. Once they met again, Spawn again flipped Rox last, one last time. This time, they could not self right because the streamer could have an encounter with Sakil a lot. So they got counted out. Rox got picked up, put on the drop zone, had a washing machine dropped of it, then it got pitted. Next in the heat final was Raging Nightmare. The two teams had fought for way back in series four when they had Spawn Again and Nightmare, spelt with a K. Raging Nightmare got the first flip on Spawn Again. Spawn again self right and took nightmare, Raging Nightmare to the wall and flipped it twice. After the second flip, as Spawn again's pneumatics exploded, though not in a ball of flames as you might be thinking. Their flipper was now stuck open because of the trailing pneumatic ramparts. So they went for the pit release tyre, because that was their only hope now and missed and got stuck on the wall by their own pneumatic ram. So Raging Nightmare rescued them, flipped them over since now they couldn't self-right, and set about removing them from the arena. First, they had Spawn again perched nice neatly on top of the arena wall. Then, with one last flip, 
spawn again we're out of the arena. The damage was seemingly bad enough for them to not participate in the Series 7 All-Stars tournament, so they never returned. Except when Spawn again got a cameo appearance in the First World Series episode 13 years later in a clip of them beating Dietrich. So at least is that. If Spawn again had worked as well as it did in its first two fights in Series 7, it could have done so much better than it did. They were really lucky to hit, win their Series 6 fight, Heat in particular, but we did see that they did have quite a bit of potential, particularly in their win over Revolution, which, by the way, was joint 16th shortest battle in Robot Wars history. But look alone can't get you all the way to the title, and in at least one case, they got as far as they did, look alone. But they, it was a good robot as well. It did. It could fight. And it proved itself on more than one occasion. Now, we have to decide who's next. This one. And this one is looks like it's only a long name. And a punny one too. B capitator. Until next week. Callison two four four. Out.